So, hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Look See. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And in this video we're playing Abandoned Ship, which is available on Steam, and the links will be in the video description. But I want to thank the developers for letting me to try this out. So, let's hit New Game. And see what's involved. Um, we'll just go main campaign. Hang on, is, is there a tutorial? No. Right, let's hit play. Ah, tutorial's on, yes. We'll just call it my adventure. Difficulty normal. We'll just leave it as that. There's no need to change any of that. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. The bits I've seen on the work, Steam Workshop and read up about the game look very interesting. But I'm not formed... I Like I do with any of these videos, this is why I play them completely fresh if I can for you to see. Is It's that initial impression. Um, Right, a wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand it cut, a burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence draws upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, some others through adulation. Their God is manifest. You watch from a position of privilege on a private balcony. You'll notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Right, event. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shock, surprise, register on the second before he too is down. You're unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon. A small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with f feigned authority. No matter, the place is unguarded in our... No, there. Moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile. So you grab the keys from the guardroom and approach the prisoners. Okay. Um, right, so you've obviously got to. So I'm going to grab the gunner. Obviously, I think from this, that means we can unlock three. I want the navigator. And we'll have the medic. You and your new companion search through the labyrinth's passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through the cracks in the frame. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you'd hoped for. A ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Okay. Um... Cut the ropes. Right. 
So we've got that. Right, you're the navigator, so we're going to put you on the ship's wheel. Dozens of furious cultists charge the dead jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His screams reach your ears and drip with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he escapes, speaks of the other culprit. Cultists disperse, no doubt to begin the pursuit of their on their own vessels. Bottom left, you should have in this bar, the, the ship will sink. Alright, okay. Not yet, take cover. Select the crew and put them onto it. Oh, right, there's pumps at the back. One more barrage incoming, okay. When something with flaming ammunition and fire is broken, fire is second. Okay, how do you extinguish? turns into a bucket of water symbol. Okay, we're out of range. Leave combat. Flee through the gate. Okay.
Okay, you gotta lock the gate on its on its seal to enter it. So basically, I think at the moment it's just teaching us how to use everything. So we right click on it. So I've missed the instruction for some reason. So let's tell you to
Why can't I get... There we go. Okay, so we managed to get some bits. So let's it kind of makes us travel between. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels so good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing they may not yet have their use. Yeah, we'll keep that. You emerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. We have may have escaped you in, but we're not safe yet safe. We must make port and go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin, slump into the chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalised, became a symbiotic, symbolic icon with no royal power. You didn't care. Something you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Sharp knock on your door awakes you. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult, cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. You will need to navigate through open water before we can find port, a port. 
Right, so let's reuse our ship. Okay. So we can set our range to So you will man that one. The highlight button can you use to bring the ship's boat? Okay. Lighthouse in the distance. So if we go to the lighthouse first, it says it'll help. Right, so that's now revealed the whole thing. Okay. That got us gold. The teeth. Your early days as a cult has come to mind. Days spent testing the shape and strength of your newfound devotion. Right by ex ex existential doubt, you threw yourself from the pinnacle, like some acolytes after you, into the rocky waters below. You emerged reborn, ignorant of the legend you write, your right of passage would become. Coming back to your senses, you notice a body bobbing in the water. Only the most f fanatical or sadistic would still force neophytes under the tutelage to prove their love for the father in this way. Do you wish to investigate? Yes. The, the body is clinging to a rock, anger flaring in his eyes. You miss the start of his shouted rant directed at you. It appears he assumed you are part of the cult. You listen intently to his diatrite asset, assessing his allegiance. He signed up with his friends, the leader and his cronies, brought them here to test the loyalty. The first of his friends jumped willingly, dying to the sounds of cultist laughter. It was then he realised his mistake. The rest, hesitant and afraid, were pushed. He was the only survivor. You've had enough. You inform him that you, f you're f you flee the cult, having shed their blood to escape. You promise him that he'll have his own chance for revenge if he swears to serve as part of your crew. He willingly agrees and you haul him aboard, his desire for vengeance. So we've just signed and got a new... One and he has got a different skill. He's just a sailor. Okay. So that's him. Um, I'm going to go up there. It's got us some food. Am I heading for the right place? I am. Oh, yeah, I've got to go there first.
but we'll go there. A long formation of ships of the line indicates a prominent cult fleet. One of the smaller ships peels off to investigate you more closely. Okay, I think we got a ship battle. Start bringing them in. Come on. Okay. You might see a number of crates with giant jade etched into every side. Inside each are exquisitely, expensively lacquered wooden spiral carvings. The first crate was great, but after the well, novelty wears off fast. Well, that one kind of went a bit well. So we've got to do more actions. A cult ship is dodge doggedly pursuing you for a while. It's small but light and it's slowly gaining. Through the spyglass you see a familiar face manning the helm and your heart sinks. Samuel's parents were some of your first initiates. And when they perished you ensured the orphan you was well looked after. Even after all these years, you imagine he still looked up to you. You remember probably watching he was given command of his first ship. It didn't matter that it was a raggedly workmanlike vessel. The same ship pursues you now, although he's clearly upgraded it in the meantime. What does he know? Knowing Samuel, he'll probably ask questions. You slow the ship, allowing him to move closer. Samuel, no, thanks to you, was always devout. So you're not sure where, what you can say that will sway into your cause. But there is a bond there, one you might yet use to save him. He watches the ship closes, his expression unreadable. Once within hailing range, he doesn't slow. It is then you realise your sentimentality has cost you. 
Samuel only has retribution in his heart. He probably thinks he's, he's redeeming your soul. You resign yourself to battle. Okay. Um... Quickly there, and then to there. Get him fixed up. Okay, so we might we might think we've got the edge. Right, they've done to do a change. on that you quickly on that Look, see, you see, you could see the look of betrayal in Samuel's eyes. He would not surrender or give up until you'd paid for your transgression. As you fell, looking at his said it all. Why? You can't even remember having family and friendships were not encouraging the cult, but Samuel was dear to you. You can't stay here, and as you tell the crew to forget about the salvage, you struggle to keep your voice level. Drop to your knees, it feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water, and it's approaching fast. Oh, you can't avert your eyes as you 
as the royal close to the distance. Whatever it was will be here upon you in mere moments. Right. Here it comes again. Now flee before it attacks. Oh, where's the... We are fleeing. I think we managed to flee. Right, um, how are we doing on tasks? Four. And that, I think, is a good point to leave it. Um, this game is fascinating. I mean, it's... It could do... I think some of this stuff... It would be nice if some of this stuff that was actually spoken to you, but we've done... Um, it's, it's a lot more a lot more to it than I actually thought there was. Um, I, I kind... I think... I mean, it, it's, it's... I'm not sure if I like it, and I'm not sure if I don't like it. Um, it's one of those type games but why not go check it out yourself um, the link is in the video description go and check it out it, but if you want to see more videos like this more games that you know you may not have noticed before please come back and check out the look scene again um, please do hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't already done so leave your comments below and check out some of the links in the video description of ways to support the channel including things like patreon and um, supporting by, by buying the games you love but until the next episode, bye-bye for now.